Hello everybody, my name is Avery from Frostbite, and today we are going to go over, no, we're going to create the game class, and maybe even get into the game manager, which is the game itself of Hot Potato, which I'm excited to do. Yes. Okay, so what we are going to do in the sixth episode of Hot Potato is inside the load game, First of all, we are going to um, I'm trying to think of if we check that the I don't care. Uh, what we're gonna do is world, 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 arena, world equals plugin dot get or uh, get uh, file handler dot get arena dot get configuration section arena name dot get string um what was the string in this is why I keep this open so I can just copy and paste the string copy and paste the string and there we go so basically this is checking to see if this world exists um oh we have to do this here before this, we have to do bucket. Before the plugin dot get whatever, we have to do bucket dot get world, and put this plugin dot get fh inside of it. And so now we're gonna do uh, if arena world is not equal to null. So uh, uh, but exclamation point equal null. Um, we're going to get the arena points so how we're gonna do this is hopefully this will work um, string y equals let me just copy and paste this because that will be so much simpler plugin dot get fh dot get arena dot get configuration center arena name section oh my gosh I cannot talk then get string but we're gonna get the string for the spawn so we'll do spawn dot yaw so we're going to get spawn dot yaw for this then we're going to copy paste it again and we're going to get spawn dot pitch instead of spawn dot yaw and we're going to change this to the string y to string p and then we're going to do um float yaw equals um float dot phrase float y then we're going to do float pitch equals float dot phrase float dot phrase float uh, p and so that will get the spawn ya in pitch um, then we're going to do Spawn is equal to location to new location. Then what we're gonna do is world so arena world. Then the X so we're gonna copy and paste this long line of code again. But we're now we're gonna do is spawn dot X. Then we're gonna copy and paste it again. And where it says spawn dot y'all, we're gonna do spawn dot y. Then we're gonna copy and paste it again. And do spawn dot z. Remember to add a uh, uh, whatever this is called um comma each time. And instead of get string, we need to be get int. So let me change that get string to get int in all of these. Then after this, we're gonna do another comma, and we're gonna do y yaw. Then we're gonna do pitch separated by comma. So what this does is that it creates a new location. But then we're going to have to do something else. At the very, very end, we're going to do dot clone. Then we're going to do dot add 0 0.5 D comma 0 0.5 D comma 0 0.5 D. What this does is that it spawns the player in the middle of the in the middle of the block and above the block so that the player is not like stuck in the block something like that 
So now that we've done that, we are going to copy and paste the if arena is not equal to null because really it's just this is a repeti big repetitive code. You shouldn't really be doing that. But since this plugin is not like a highly single instant, tremendously hard plugin, um, I don't really care. So right now, instead of the spawn, we're gonna get um, spec, and we are gonna ca uh, put spec everywhere it says spawn, and if Reno is not equal to null, so put sp uh, spec where it says spawn. Up, oh, wait, I copied spec dot x, so let me just copy spec. So spec and spec. Now we did that. Now let's copy um, end. So end, 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 and end. Oop. Then we're gonna have to change the spawn of the last one to end, spawn of the second one to uh, spec. Then let's comment all of these to make sure what they are. So let's do spec spectate area spectate location spelled spectate wrong oh they don't have spectate um end location uh spawn location you know i don't know if this 100 percent works since uh i'm not looking at anything i can't check it but i think it works so don't don't cite me on it. If it doesn't work and the plugin's not done, then the the like episode that I finish it, we're gonna do bug testing. And I'm gonna fix all these bugs. So don't use this code unless you've watched the last episode, of course. So now above this, where it says world arena, we're gonna create a new thing, um, and we're gonna create a new world. And we're gonna do world lobby world equals then we're going to copy all of this from arena world and paste it and where it says arena world we're going to get the lobby world um variable in the game creator and then we're going to do if lobby world is not equal to null then we're going to copy and paste everything from the last oh the last um the spawn that we got and we're gonna change this to this and then we're gonna change all of this around <coughs> so it says spawn we're gonna do lobby inside of this if statement mm -hmm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now we created <coughs> now we create our game thing so that all of these oh no we're gonna do one more thing what we're gonna do is uh arena worlds so we're gonna do um private world lobby world then we're gonna do private world um, game arena world sounds like amusement park so we're gonna create the getter and setter and set the world inside of one of the if statements that um, is checking if the world is not equal to null just like that let me just copy and paste it some lazy and like that now that we've done all that we can actually just copy and paste all of our code from each one of these back into the first if arena world is not oh no we can't never mind don't listen to me i'm crazy sometimes now that we've finished the game class uh how much time do we got left we can actually start the game manager yay hopefully all this code works so i won't have to go back and look again so let's create a new class called game manager um of course we're gonna have to create a constructor yeah who loves constructors not Avery not Avery 
to get a constructor from one of these. But we are just taking the first things of the constructor. We're actually going to have to add some more stuff to the constructor. So what we're going to add is hot potato plugin. Then we're going to do, um, hmm. I'm thinking, don't worry. Game, game. Then we're going to do, yeah, just game, game. Nothing after game, game. And we're going to get game. We're going to change the constructor to our the name of the class. And we're going to do hot potato. We're going to be comment above that calling that class is then right below it we're gonna do oh no no we're gonna do game game then in the constructor we'll do game equals new equals game this dot game equals game that's what we're gonna do so if you hear me hiccuping um my backups so now that we're actually starting the game oh boy I'm tired. Uh, if you guys don't know that I'm making all these episodes in one day since I'm creating the plugin in one day, so I have a headache because I've been looking at screen for since seven or six. I don't know. So right now where it says public game manager, below that we're gonna create a new method called um, public void join game. So we're gonna be doing the methods right now. Public void join game player player. Then we're gonna do below that implement I mean add import player. We're gonna do public void add player. Oh, it's not join oh yeah, it's join game. And add player, player, player. Then I actually had a really good thing for one of my last plugins, uh, Game Manager, so I'm going to look at the methods in there. So I'll be right back. So what we're going to add is public void load arena, then public void uh, I forgot what it is. load game, uh -huh. then after that we're going to do public void start game then we're gonna do uh, public void um, check players then let me check the rest <laughs> now we're gonna do public oops public void find winner then public void add uh, give credits because we're going to be adding in credits then public void um, let me think let me think let me think uh, find give uh, remove player then let me look at the last one. I know there's one last method. Then public void add spec. Then we're going to do um, a comment. And we're not going to do to do. We're just going to do game player. Find game player. These are going to be methods in the future. Then we're going to do um, clear inventory. Then clear um, potion effects so that's the episode for today guys um, next episode I will be um, uh, checking stuff in the config because you need a whole lot of stuff in the config to um, know what you want in every game so we'll be doing that next and then we're also going to be doing other stuff. So, um, I'm Avery. Thanks for watching episode 6, I think. And see you guys. Bye.